All right, folks, a new Broadway show is taking over the stage at Blumenthal Arts for one week only. It's called Girl from the North Country, and here to tell us all about it is actor Jeremy Webb, who will be playing the role of Reverend Marlowe. Welcome to the program. Hey, thanks. Thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. Look, we're excited uh, that this show is coming here to the Queen City. It's here for a week, yeah. but people are excited and packing the seats already. Yeah. Uh, your role is very interesting in this. <laughs> Reverend Marlowe, you know, a little shifty little bit of a character. Uh, tell me, what's it like to play a role like that? Uh, super interesting for me. Thanks so much for having me this morning because, um, you know, I've played a lot of like ingenues yeah. and kind of like good guys in my yeah. career uh, on TV and in other places. And so to be offered a role like this where I get the opportunity to explore uh, maybe the darker sides of sure. my personality uh, has been like one of the one of the real highlights for me as an actor. And, and let me piggyback on that as an actor to be able to to nail a role, but at the same time, be able to kind of make it your own. What's yeah. that like? Take me through that creative process. Uh, yeah, it's, um, you know, our creative process on this show, uh, Connor McPherson, who created the show, uh, gave us a tremendous amount of uh, opportunity to bring ourselves to what we were doing. So uh, really, like from the ground up in an organic way, we were allowed to uh, create these roles um, for ourselves. Uh, it's interesting and fun and different and wild to explore uh, uh, the deeper, darker sides, <laughs> I would say, that, of what's going on. That said, uh, what's been the most challenging part in this role and really you know, coming into your own in the role? Yeah, the most challenging part, um, I guess I would say um, just uh, sort of being uh, horrible and awful to the <laughs> other people that I'm on stage <laughs> with um, every night. No, it's a, it's a beautiful show. It's, yeah. you know, it's the Bob Dylan catalog. Uh, it's, it's a Broadway musical, but it's also written, as I said, by this incredible Irish playwright, Connor McPherson. So it's, it ticks a lot of boxes off, you know? It's, yeah. it's drama, it's music, it's, um, it's, it's, it packs a lot in there in its two, two hours. For somebody that, that you know, is new to the just musical theater world in general, sure. and they choose uh, to have one of these uh, performances that you are going to be in this week as one of their first performances that they get to see, what's the vibe and what's going to hit them in the face when they sit in those seats and watch the show? It's, it's 1934. It's the height of the Depression. It's um, a story about um, the resilience of America, you know, uh, a time in our history where um, um, there, was, there was no social safety net, and yet Americans came together to uh, lift each other up, right? The, the play is the three days surrounding Thanksgiving at the height of the Depression, and so it's a story about um, I would say the indomitable spirit of, yeah. of, of being an American. Yeah, in a way, you know? of course. And, uh, and, and many, many stories and threads woven through this, and many, many cultures. Um, so everybody, I think, who comes can find a character that they can follow through the boarding house, you know? Yeah. Whether it's Joe Scott the boxer, or whether it's the family that's down on their luck but trying to provide a meal for people, or whether it's, you know, the Bible salesman who comes in and yeah. is, uh, <laughs> secretly stealing things from people right. behind the scenes, yeah. You know, you talk about, you know, community and humanity. You talk about uh, coming together as a people. You have a tie here uh, to North Carolina. You went to UNC School of Arts. We're obviously in the middle of, of seeing everything that Hurricane Helene ha has done, and it's, there's more to come uh, as we continue to get more reports throughout the days. What was your initial reaction as somebody that spent time in North Carolina, uh, somebody that's doing a play that has people coming together, yeah. uh, seeing this now in real time, in real life? You know, I have a lot of family in the area. I have family here in the studio with me today, a lot of family that um, lives in the Johnson City, Asheville area, and, you know, some of them are still... Um, isolated and um, it's just been I guess really horrible to know that people are relying normally on cell phones and modes of communication to like get food and get the word out and I think it's been devastating and hard to know how to communicate with those people I think that's probably the aspect of it that's been the most challenging for for our family and yeah. for the people that uh, I'm close to in this area so um, yeah, just sitting with those feelings and really trying to uh, do what we can to help 
That's, and that's what it is. Do what you can to help work. There's light at the end of the tunnel there. Uh, the musical also uh, brings community together and, and really lifts people's spirits up. And so I'm glad that we're able to see that both in, in, in an opportunity to be able to bring people together, which again, a great show that's happening. A girl from the North Country. It's here in Charlotte. It's here for one week only. Jeremy, I can't thank you enough for thank coming you. here. And not only sharing a little bit of your personal side here with your North Carolina roots, but previewing this great, great musical that's right up the street for a week here in Charlotte. Thanks. Thanks, Jeremy. Yeah. Kristen, I'm telling you, this is going to be one great show that brings people together. Ah, thank you so much, guys. I appreciate that.